Welcome everyone, I'm Emily. Let's do some yoga. So go ahead and start in a seated position. Find your mat. Just find a comfortable position, anchoring down to the sitting bones. Stack the spine up one bone at a time. Roll the shoulders up towards your ears, down the back, reach up through the crown of your head. You can let the eyes close or take the gaze softly off the tip of the nose. Just start to deepen the breath. The next inhale, fill the belly, rib cage up to the collarbones. And exhale, collarbones, rib cage, and the belly. Inhale. And exhale from the top all the way down to the bottom. Take a few more breaths, making each bit a little longer, a little fuller than the one before. Just noticing anything that's coming up in your body. Top of the next inhale, hold the breath for a moment. And then exhale all the way out, releasing that last bit of air. And come back to a natural rhythm, breathing in and out through the nose. Tongue is softly on the roof of the mouth. And just find your level of effort and ease today. So you allow the eyes to open. Just go ahead and move the head and neck. You can draw some big circles. Take one ear to the shoulder and then the other. Just noticing how everything is feeling this morning. Bring the head up to center, circle the shoulders, draw them up towards the ears, squeeze the shoulder blades together and pull it down the back. And then bring it to center, take the hands to the legs, just draw some big circles with the torso. You can keep the spine nice and long or bring a little flex into it. And then bring it to center. Then next inhale, reach both arms up. And exhale, right hand down, reach up and over to the right. And a big side stretch. Heavy into the left sitting bone. Let the top arm be nice and relaxed down into the shoulder. Inhale up to center. And exhale, left hand down, reach up and over to the left. Inhale, center. And exhale, twist to the right. So right hand comes to the mat behind you, left hand comes across. Take a breath in to sit up tall. And exhale, deepen the twist any amount. Anchoring into both sitting bones, or reach up through the crown of the head. Just starting gently. Inhale, center. And exhale, twist to the left. Take that left hand to the mat behind you, right hand comes across. The inhale is sitting up tall, and exhale is deepening your twist in the amount. And unwind it to center. Take both hands to the mat behind you. As you inhale, lift the chest, draw the elbows and the shoulder blades together. And spread in the front of the ribs, the collarbones. Inhale up to center. Exhale, fold forward any amount. Feel free to undo the legs, walk the arms out in front of you. Maybe a little side to side movement. Spine can be long or rounded. And then roll it up to center. Come into child's pose. You can roll over forward over the legs or swing them around behind you. Hips back towards the heels or stack them over the heel, over the knees. Just walk the arms out in front of you. Start to wake up the hands, spread the fingers wide, make fists a couple times. Roll the wrists one direction, the other. And then bring it up into all fours, wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. Just shift a little side to side, forward and back. You can walk out the hands a little. So fingers are nice and spread. You can always take blocks underneath the wrists or patting underneath the knees to adjust the load. Next inhale, lift the tail and the chest. And exhale, tuck the tail, round the spine, drop the head. Inhale, chest slides forward for cow. 
And exhale, rounding up into cat, really press the floor away. And keep following the rhythm of your own breath. On whatever speed works for you, you can play with starting the movement with the tailbone, ripple it up the spine. And the breath in and out through the nose. And a little side to side movement if you like, pause in either shape. And then bring it to a neutral spine. Extend that right leg back behind you, toes to the mat. And just roll forward and back, stretching out the sole of the foot. Press into the heel, get some sensation into the calf. And bring it back to center. Stretch the left leg back behind you, toes tucked to the mat. Just noticing any differences between the two sides. Draw that back in, and then we're going to lower all the way down to the belly. So however you want to get there. Take the shoulders, hands underneath the shoulders, taps the feet, press down into the mat. As you inhale, roll the shoulders back, lift the chest up. And exhale, release the forehead back to the mat. Twice more, inhale, lift up, baby cobra, maybe float the hands. And exhale, release. Inhale, lift. And exhale, release. Take one ear to the mat. Shift the hips a little side to side. Take a break. Good. And then this time, extend the arms down by the sides. Fingertips reaching for the back of your mat. Roll the shoulders back. Lift the chest and lift the head. Good. So holding here, really squeezing the shoulder blades together, reaching through the fingers. If you want to add effort, you can float the legs as well, reaching long through the toes. Uh, something more about length and about height. Another breath here. And exhale, release it all back to the mat. Other ear down. Shift the hips side to side. And then take a breath in to prepare. As you exhale, press it up and back to child's pose or all fours. Make downward dogs in your practice. You can spread the fingers, tuck the toes, and reach the hips back and up for downward dog. Keep the knees soft, pedal one heel towards the floor and then the other. And shift the hips side to side. And bring it to center, really press the belly back towards the thighs, knees nice and bent. And then maybe reaching the heels towards the floor. Another breath. And soften the knees and walk the feet up towards the hands, find a soft forward fold. Feet a comfortable distance apart, let the torso hang, arms can dangle, or hands grab opposite elbows. Sway a little side to side, forward and back. And then exhale, release the hands towards the floor. To so inhale, hands to shins, flat back, lift the gaze. Exhale, fold everything heavy. Twice more, inhale, flat back, roll the shoulders away. Exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back. And exhale, fold. This time as you inhale, soften the knees and roll yourself up bone by bone. Bring the head up last. And roll the shoulders up and back a couple times. Get some blood back into the brain. And then finding your mountain pose, anywhere towards the front of your mat, feet a comfortable distance apart, anchoring down into the feet, reaching up through the crown of the head. As you inhale, sweep both arms up, and exhale, forward fold, hinging at the waist. Inhale, flat back, and exhale, bend the knees, plant the hands, walk the feet back. You can find all fours, low plank or high plank, top of the push-up if you're feeling up for it. Take a breath here. And exhale, lowering all the way down to the belly. Inhale, peel the chest up, baby cobra. And exhale, press it back to child's pose. Take a breath here. And then coming back up into all fours. Extend, as you inhale, extend that right leg up and back behind you any amount, reaching through the heel. Good. Then release the toes to the mat, spin your left shin to the outside, and roll open into gate pose towards the right. Top hand can reach up towards the sky, maybe overhead, finding a little bit of extra length. 
And then bring the hand back towards the mat, squaring towards the floor. Switch the knee, so right knee down, and then hug the left knee up in towards the chest. Pause for a moment, and then step it forward for a low lunge. So this first one, go ahead and shift forward and back. You can take blocks under the hands for a little lift. Just moving the joints, checking in with everything. And stop with the knee stacked over the ankle. Bring the torso up, shoulders over hips, and inhale to sweep both arms up. Pause here, drawing the legs together. So that front heel pulls towards the back knee as you lift up out of the waist. Next, exhale, twist to the left. So right hand can come across the front leg, left hand to the low back. Or you can take a prayer twist, bring the hands together at heart center, take the right elbow across the front leg. Whatever feels best. Starting gently, keeping the knee stacked over the front ankle. Another breath, breath here. And then inhale to center. And exhale, hands to the mat. Step that front leg back. Good. And then we're going to extend the left leg back. Roll to the side of the foot. Pivot the bottom shin if you like. And open up into gate pose to the left. Uh, it's just a lifting up out of that bottom shoulder. Top hand can reach up or maybe forward. And then squaring off to the mat. Left knee comes down, right knee squeezes up towards the chest. Pause for a moment. And step it all the way forward, maybe adjusting the back knee. And just play with shifting forward and back, finding movement in all of those joints. And then stack knee over ankle and bring the torso up, shoulders over hips. Maybe drawing back slightly with the right hip as you inhale, arms up. Good. Take a breath here, shoulders relaxed away from the ears. Feel free to take the arms out wider for a little bit more space. Then next, exhale, twist to the right. So the right hand can come to the low back as the left hand comes across. Or maybe hooking the front elbow over the leg. Nice long line from the back knee all the way up to the crown of the head. Front big toe connecting down into the mat. Inhale to center. And exhale, release the hands down. Step that front leg all the way back. And right leg's going all the way back, opening into your gate pose to the right. Good. Exhale, hand and knee back to the mat. Draw the left knee up towards the chest. Step it forward. This time, tuck the back toes, lift the back knee, come all the way up into your high lunge. So again, take a moment here, find your feet on train tracks. Go ahead and sign a soft bend of the back knee, reach the tailbone towards the floor, find some more space in the low back, and then maybe reach through that back heel a little bit more. Inhale, reach the arms up, and exhale, twist to the left. So again, the front hand can just come across the leg, or maybe hands to heart center, take the right elbow towards the left thigh. Drawing back with that left hip slightly. Another breath here. And then as you inhale, we're gonna unwind all the way up to the right, find your star pose. So toes pointing towards the long edge of the mat, arms out wide. And then bring the toes in slightly. And as you exhale, fold forward in your mouth. Here, let the knees be soft. You can shift the hips back and forth a couple times. And then bring it to center, maybe folding a little more deeply. Lovely. And then take right hand, place it underneath your face. Left hand comes to the low back. Take a breath in to lengthen the spine. And as you exhale, start to twist to the left. So drawing back with the right hip, that top shoulder's rolling open. You can add a block underneath that bottom hand for a little lift. And left hand can stay to the low back or maybe reach up to the sky. Another breath here. Then unwind. Take the hand, that right hand, to plant it down. And pivot the feet towards the front of the mat. Right knee to the ground, then the left. And stretch back into your child's pose. Taking a breath here. 
And inhale to shift it forward. Exhale, lower all the way to the belly. Inhale, lift the chest. And exhale, press up, find your all fours. Lovely. Extend the left leg back behind you. Roll to the side of the foot. Open up into gate pose to the left. And then hand and left knee come back to the mat. Hug the right knee up into the chest. Step it forward. It's time to tuck the back toes, lift the back knee, come towards your high lunge. Bring the torso up when you're stable. So feet are on train tracks. Front knee stacked over the front hip. And again, find a soft bend in the back knee. Maybe find a little more space in the low back. And then reach through the back heel. Inhale, sweep both arms up. And exhale, twist to the left. Sorry, that's the right. Twist to the right, other side. And again, it could just be a hand over the leg, maybe the elbow hooks across. And next inhale, unwinding all the way to the starter. So extending long through the legs and the hands. And as you exhale, pivot the toes in, hinge forward in the amount. So here again, shift side to side. You can bend into one knee and then the other. And then come to center, maybe drawing in a little bit deeper. And keep a soft bend to the knees. Lift in the arches of the feet. And then take the left hand to the mat underneath the face, maybe on top of a block, right hand to the low back. Take a breath in, lengthen the spine. And exhale, start twisting to the right. So rolling the top shoulder open, gently pulling back with the left hip to keep those hips squarish. And unwinding on an exhale, connecting into the left hand, pivot the feet to the front of the mat, left knee down, then the right, and press it back into child's pose. Next inhale, shift forward, low or high plank. Exhale all the way to the belly. Inhale, lift the chest, baby cobra. And exhale, press it up to all fours. Good. So floating that right leg back behind you. And then place the sole of the foot to the mat. Inhale, opening up to your gait. Good. And then hand comes back. This time we'll keep the knee lifted if you like. And as you exhale, draw the left knee up to the chest, hovering it. Your back knee can always be down. And then either big step forward or take the left, the right knee down and bring it up, coming up to our high lunge. Inhale up to center. And exhale, twisting to the left. Take a breath here. And as you inhale, unwinding all the way across to that right side, and finding your warrior two. So bending into the front knee, maybe straighten and bend that leg a couple times, asking the hip to open up. And stack knee over ankle, shoulders over hips, reaching long through the fingertips. Inhale, reverse your warrior, front hand to the sky, back hand to that back leg. And next exhale, reach forward for side angle, making contact with that front leg, that top arm circles up and over towards the sky or overhead, drawing the left hip underneath you. Good, next inhale, bring the torso up, square off to the long edge of the mat, star pose. And exhale, fold forward, spinning the toes in, allowing a little more space in the hips. Good, right hand plants underneath the face, left hand to the low back. Inhale, length the spine. Exhale, twist to the left. Again, hand can stay in the back. Maybe it reaches up to the sky. You can always take something under the bottom hand for lift. And then with an exhale, unwind, plant the right hand. We'll take the right knee down and then the left. This time we'll come into a kneeling position. So feel free to add padding under the knee. I like to tuck my back toes. Next, inhale, reach both arms up. And as you exhale, draw the elbows back, squeeze the legs, and angle your whole body towards the back of your mat. Good. Use an exhale, squeeze the legs, bring it back to center. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, pull it back, lean back. 
then take the hands to the low back and as you inhale press the hips forward roll the shoulders back lift the sternum camel pose good so hands can stay to the low back maybe you can reach your heels maybe you take blocks there another breath and then using the legs really squeezing the butt inhale it up and exhale forward child's pose take a break Take a breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. We need to find all of that fun on the other side. So next inhale, shifting all the way forward, lower high plank. Exhale, lower to the belly. And inhale, lift the chest. And exhale, up to all fours. Good, extending the left leg back, side of the foot to the mat, peel open to your gate pose. And then exhale, hand comes back to center, left knee can be down or up. Exhale, draw the right knee up towards the chest, pause for a moment. And then however you step that forward, finding your high plank. High lunge. <laughs> Inhale to bring it up. And exhale, twist to the right. Take a breath here. Then inhale up across center and exhale opening to warrior two. So fiddle with the feet, straighten and bend the front leg. And then stack knee over ankle, shoulders over hips, reach long through the fingertips. Inhale, reverse. Still bending into the front knee, connecting in the front heel. And exhale, reach forward into side angle, make contact with that front leg. The top arm can circle and round and up, rolling the top shoulder towards the ceiling. Next inhale, lift up into star, straightening the front leg, spin the toes towards the long edge of your mat. And exhale, fold forward any amount. You can keep it static in the center or shift side to side. Keeping the soft bend to the knees. And planting the left hand under your face, right hand to the low back. Take your breath in, lengthen the spine. Exhale, twist to the right. Rolling the top shoulder open any amount. And then unwinding, keep the left hand planted. Pivot toes towards the long edge. Left knee down and then the right. And come back to kneeling. Lovely. So feel free to add padding, take your blocks back by your feet. Inhale, reach both arms up. Exhale, pull the elbows back, take the whole body back. And then as you inhale, hands to the low back, press the hips forward, lift the chest. Hands can stay to the low back, maybe fingertips reach to the floor, maybe they find your heels or blocks. Staying strong in the back body, using that to support you. Another breath, and then squeeze the legs to bring you up to center, and release down a child's pose, take a break. Just find some ease here, whether that's stacking the hands under the forehead, or you taking the block under there. Another breath. And then use the hands to walk back towards the knees, bring the torso up, shift the hips to the side, swing the legs around in front of you. Uh, draw the love away from the sit bones, find a solid connection, point, flex the ankles a little bit. And then bend the right knee, draw the heel in towards the hip, plant the foot to the inside or outside of a straight leg. Inhale, right arm up. And exhale, cartwheel it around the floor behind you. Take a breath in, sit up tall. And exhale, deepen the twist any amount. So drawing the left toes back towards the nose to keep that leg gently active. Left hand can stay around the knee or maybe the left elbow hooks across the thigh. Inhale, unwind to center. Exhale across to the other side. Find a little counter twist. Inhale, 
Inhale, center, grab hold of the left, that right leg, knee and ankle, and just circle it around. And sole of the foot comes to the inside of the thigh. Feel free to add support under that outside knee. Inhale, sit up tall, and exhale, forward fold. So the hands can rest anywhere on the leg. Maybe you reach the foot, maybe hands frame it. Let the shoulders be nice and heavy away from the ears. Belly melts towards the thigh. Another breath here. And then inhale, sit up tall, bending that left knee, plant the foot, right ankle comes across the knee. So find your figure four stretch. Maybe that left but Maybe that left bottom leg stays straight. Maybe you bend it and draw the heel in towards the hip. Hands can come to the mat behind you. Maybe come to the forearms. I like to keep my right ankle nice and flexed. Makes it feel, but feels better for my knee. Sorry. I only need more coffee this morning. <laughs> Looking for a stretch in your right hip. Maybe some side to side movement helps with the release. Another breath here, and then unwind, extend the legs up, give them a shake, and we'll find them on the other side. So bend the left knee, draw the heel in, plant the foot to the inside or outside of the straight leg as you prefer. Inhale, left arm up, and exhale, cartwheel it around behind you. Breath in, sit up tall, exhale, twist. Anchoring into both sitting bones, reaching up through the crown of the head, rotating around a nice long spine. And inhale brings you back to center. And exhale, counter twist. Spine long or let it round. Come to center, grab hold of the left leg, supporting the knee, and just stir the femur around in your hip socket. Sole the foot to the inside of the thigh, add any support you like. Inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, forward fold. Just let the belly melt towards the thigh. Never matters what it looks like as long as it feels good in the body. And inhale to come up. Good. And we'll find figure four stretch on the other side. So the right leg can stay straight as you take the left angle on top of the thigh. Or you can take the hands back, bend the right knee, draw the heel in. Depend on how your belt, two sides can be very different. Let's just find what works for you. Coming back to the breath, in and out through the nose. Just relax the jaw, let the tongue rest lightly on the roof of the mouth. Another breath here. And unwind it, plant the feet wide, hands behind you. Just let the knees windshield wiper side to side. Bring it to center and go ahead and move down onto your back. Or you can stay seated if you'd like to take your final resting pose there, your choice. So any last movements or adjustments you'd like to make before finding some stillness. Extend everything out from center, add support under your head, under your knees. And just let the eyes close, draw the shoulders down away from the ears and come back to the breath. Breathing in, breathing out, and taking a few more moments here.
your practice. You can stay here as long as you like. Otherwise, slowly start to deepen the breath. Find some movement in the fingers and toes, hands and feet. Bend the knees, roll to your favorite side. Take a moment there before using the strength of the arms, pressing yourself up to a comfortable seated position. Anchoring into the sitting bones, stacking the spine up one bone at a time. Roll the shoulders up towards the ears, down the back, reach up to the crown of the head. You can have the palms down for grounding, or palms up for sharing and receiving, your choice. Together we'll take a breath in through the nose, out through the mouth, in through the nose, out through the mouth, in through the nose, out through the mouth. I invite you to take the hands together in front of the heart. May our thoughts, words, and actions support the health, happiness, and freedom of all beings. Thank you for your presence and your practice. Enjoy the rest of your day. Erda, Joe Biden's president.